Hey guys, this is Argon657 here with another Pokemon Ors Wi Fi battle. This battle is against Lucrexna, so I hope you guys enjoy the video. Um, I'm gonna start off with my Fortress, and he's gonna start off with his Hydreigon. Um, he's gonna go for a Dark Pulse, and unfortunately, I flinch. I was trying to set up the Stealth Rocks, but it looks like I can't now, so I'm just gonna leave Fortress as Death Fodder. Um, I see he's life orb, so at least I know he's not choiced or any way, shape, or form. Now I'm going to go to my ditto, and I can just go into, um, his Hydreigon, like, uh, transform into his Hydreigon, and just finish him off with a Dragon Pulse. I am choice Scarf, so I can outspeed it, so. Um, he's going to go to his Gengar. And it's going to be Mega Gengar. And I'm going to go to my Blissey to uh, take whatever hit, whatever move he uh, goes for. Um, he's going to go for Dazzling Gleam, then an Energy Ball. And I'm able to just sponge that pretty well. So um, He's going to continue going for the Energy Ball, hoping for the Special Defense Draw, which he does get. And I'm going to go for a flamethrower, and I actually get the burn, so... Um... So now Gengar is going to be taken out um, sooner. And he's going to go for a sludge bomb, and it does a lot because of the minus one special uh, defense. Um, he's going to go for a sludge bomb again. And I'm going to go for a soft boiled. I mean, it does a lot of damage, so. But, um, the flame, th uh, not flame. Yeah, I'm going to go for a flamethrower. Um, uh, the burn is going to take out the, um, Gengar. I'm going to switch out expecting a meteor mash or something like that. I'm going to go to my ferret thorn to take the meteor mash, but he actually goes for a brick break. And the brick break does nothing like only a quarter less than a quarter actually i mean it's not stab and plus i'm very defensive so um i can take those all day and just go for leech seeds and everything and i can just thunder wave it he's gonna go to his gardevoir and i'm gonna go for the thunder wave and now gardevoir is slower um he's gonna go for a thunderbolt um I guess he was expecting a switch or something. I'm not sure. But, um... I'm gonna just leech seed up most of my health. He's gonna switch out into Star Raptor. And I'm gonna switch out into my Electivire. But I don't know if it's Scarfed or Banded. I don't even know what item I carry, so I'm going to switch out into my Mandibuzz, expecting a close combat, or a double edge of some sort. But, he's going to go for that close combat, and I take it pretty nicely. And, he's going to go for a fly, so I know he's not choiced. I don't know what item he carries then. So, um, I'm going to switch out to my Ferrothorn, because I know I can take a fly... Um, and I can just go for a Thunder Wave. I can definitely take one close combat and just go for a Thunder Wave over there. So, um, he's going to go for a Fly again, and I'm going to go for a Thunder Wave. Um, so now, because he's going to attack this turn, I can take this opportunity to slow it down a little bit and just... Go for that Thunder Wave and just paralyze it. Um, so now I don't really have to worry about it that much. So um, he's going to get paralyzed. And I guess he was going for the close combat. Um, I'm going to Leech Seed and get some health back. And I'm going to go for a Gyro Ball over here, and he's going to go to his Garchomp. 
And Gyro Ball is an easy two hit KO because it does well over half. Um, so now he's going to set up the Swords Dance, but I'm just going to take him out with the Gyro Ball. I guess he was expecting the Leech Seed. But the Garchomp's down, so. Um, he's going to go back into his Star Raptor, get the Intimidate, and he's going to go for a close combat. And I probably should have went for a Leech Seed over here, because I would have definitely take another close combat uh, had I gone for a Leech Seed. But I go for Jaru Ball instead. And, um, as you can see here, the close combat is enough to take me out. I would have definitely taken another close combat had I gone for Elite Seed. And I would have gotten more, uh, more damage on this thing, so. Um, but it doesn't matter, because I'm going to go to my Electivire, and I'm just going to go for that Choice Banded Admin Stab, um, Wild Charge. And I guess he was expecting the Ice Punch, so that's why he probably switched into his Metagross. But I'm just going to go for that Wild Charge and just take it right out in two hits. I get the Recoil, but it doesn't matter. He's going to go to his Staraptor and get the Intimidate, but it doesn't matter because at that point, it's going to take out Staraptor with that Wild Charge. Um, now he's going to go to his Gardevoir, and he's going to trace the motor drive so I can't use Wild Charge anymore, because then it'll get plus one speed for each time I uh, go for an Electro-type move. So, um, I'm going to go for a knockoff over here, and I'm going to get rid of um, its Focus Band. He's going to go for that Moon Blast, and it's going to be an easy two-hit KO. Because um, it's super effective and everything, so. I'm just going to get some more damage with the knockoff, and then I'm going to go to my Electivire, and I'll be able to just take him right out with the Ice Punch. So, uh, good game. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, just comment like, subscribe, and I will see you guys later.